everybody. Welcome to your wrestling news brief for this Friday, October 8th, 2021. Late in the evening here as I come to you live from uh, the WWE Podcast Studio, i.e. my office and my house. <laughs> but uh, sounds cool, right? So let's get into the news. Let's let's dive into what the name of this show is, right? I, I labeled two different big stories that are coming out right now, and let's dive into it. The first one... I want to talk about AJ Lee. I want to dive into because she has made a splash recently. She recently did sign a multi-year contract distribution agreement with Women of Wrestling. Wow. Right? Not World of Warcraft, rather, for for those of you that are uh, interested in such things. But Women of Wrestling is what the WOW stands for. And this was really just for commentary. This was meant to be for commentary that for AJ Lee and let's uh let, let's get into let, let's get into this here and I'll quote the source um, of course some of this is from AJ Mendez i.e uh AJ Lee's actual Twitter feed but right now I'm quoting sports Kita and here's what it says AJ Lee's name has been in the headlines over the past few days after it was announced that the former WWE Divas champion was making her return to wrestling Whilst this was big news at the time, the former WWE superstar also revealed as a part of an interview with the women of wrestling Izzy, wrestling's Izzy, never heard of it, that she could technically make her return to the ring. And here's what AJ Lee said in that interview. So it's kind of like a quote within a quote, but here's what AJ said. I will say, I say the same thing in every interview, and it's always never say never, but don't hold your breath. What I mean by that is, I never say never to anything, physically, mentally, emotionally. I'm healed from everything I've gone through in wrestling. I could technically do it, but I'm so enjoying letting the next generation have their spotlight. AJ Lee said, I got to do everything I wanted to do. So it really would have to be, is that is there a challenge here? I don't think the girls need me there. I think that they are going to take the world all by themselves, take over the world all by themselves. Um, so uh, let me continue on and then I'll comment. AJ Lee will also be serving as a color commentator, as I mentioned for, for wow, but it appears the former star could be prepared to lace up her wrestling boots if needed. Now, before I get to the second part here, that tells me she could go. Obviously she says verbatim that she is physically, mentally, and emotionally healed from everything that happened with her before her injury in 2015 that obviously ended her help was a contributing factor in ending her career in WWE her neck injury i am all, I, i'm a little bit skeptical when i say skeptical i mean that in a good way that she's joining a wrestling organization the same time that her husband is returning to wrestling okay fine like what 7 weeks 8 weeks apart essentially the same time She's getting back into wrestling, dipping her toe in where CM Punk just dove head first. Maybe they had a conversation saying, you know, hey, uh, I'm diving head in. And, you know, if you want to you want to dip your toe in, go for it. And I know AEW would not be opposed to working with somebody who's like under contract with somebody, another organization. So in other words, AJ Lee, if she's interested in getting back in the ring, I think she could still do that in AEW. I would I would not want AJ Lee to be in a separate promotion if she was to have some kind of return match. It doesn't make any sense that you would put her on Women of Wrestling. Again, no disrespect to the WOW organization, but look, AEW is the hot product right now. They're the they're the place everyone wants to be. So, it's not impossible just because she signed a multi-year distribution agreement with Wow. Well, Viacom did. She signed a, a multi-year deal with uh, with Wow for uh, more, again the color commentary part. But it's not impossible. AEW could probably work something out with Viacom and Women of Wrestling to have AJ Lee cross over for a match or two. This is not the closed-minded WWE we're talking about here. This is AEW. What I'm really getting at is. How cool would it be to see AJ and, and CM Punk in just, just one, one mixed tag match? How cool would that be? Having a husband and wife team, one of the most popular couples in all of pro wrestling ever, 
teaming up for a main event pay- on the pay per view just once, just once. You don't have to have her have a long stint. You could do it. But here's where I'm going to pour a little cold water on that. And this, I believe, I actually mentioned in a previous news brief many months ago. When I say many, probably like two months ago. But here, here's the thing: AJ Lee isn't physically com- clear to compete. And this is CM Punk noting in one of the main reasons why she he doesn't believe that she would be able to. He said this, I and I quote, I just want to say no, just because of her neck. The reason she stopped wrestling is because of her neck. She got a bad ye- neck, you know, or she's got a bad neck. I wouldn't want her to jeopardize her health and neither would she. So we'll put an end to that rumor right now. Well, I, I respect that. Obviously, we wouldn't want anybody risking any kind of injury, especially with your neck. It's about as risky as it gets. But the thing is here, we're getting conflicting information. We're having CM Punk say that he doesn't believe and he's trying to kill the rumor that she's not going to return to wrestling because of her neck. And he says that she's got a bad neck. Uh, I'm going to put an end to that rumor right now. I wouldn't want her to jeopardize her health. But wait a minute. Uh, what about what AJ just said? Even more recently, she said, I uh, I would never say never to anything physically, mentally, and emotionally. I'm healed from everything I've gone through in wrestling. So what? this is a little bit, again, con- uh, contrary to one another here. So who's telling us the right message? I'm not saying CM Punk is being purposefully uh, de- deceitful, but you're having a little bit of a opposite message here. So what this all boils down to is, do I think AJ Lee will be uh, eventually make it back to a wrestling ring? Yes, I do. Do I think it'll be for long-term? No. Do I think it'll be a one or two match or maybe even three match stint? Yes. Do I think it will happen in AEW? Yes, I do. They would be foolish not to capitalize on that. And it would be an ama- just an absolutely amazing moment. Uh, AJ Lee, I think could get a CM Punk like pop. And seeing those two together in a match would be so cool. So cool. So, again, I know, as I said, I poured cold water on it, but AJ Lee is the one who lit it back up again. You don't say, like, point blank that you are physically, mentally, and emotionally healed if you're not. I mean, so there, there's a little hope for us that are interested in this. Um, by the way, if you haven't seen AJ Lee perform, or especially in the microphone, she is um, one of the... One of the unsung heroes of the dreaded Divas era. I mean, she would have really, I think, had a hell of a run in this current generation of women. She was probably the best on the mic. And among a lot of wrestlers that weren't that great, she was one of the top in the ring. Now, you fast forward six years and the talent pool has exponentially increased in terms of their ability and athleticism. Not saying that she would be number one still, but she, I think she could hang, hang in there and hold her own. No doubt. Okay. Let's move on backstage news, big backstage news here uh, on plans for Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. This is credit to wrestling Inc. Sports key and wrestling Inc. seem to be my, like my go-to is occasionally ESPN will break something, but, um, two very reputable, reputable sources. And of course you can go read these for yourself, but, uh, why, why do that when you can listen to the show and I just give it to you anyway, you don't have to go and, Go through the effort of, you know, cramping your fingers to type in. and eh, uh, See see all the service I provide you guys. All right. Let's go to what the sports or sports game, wrestling Inc. has to say. WWE reportedly has plans for another match between Brock Lesnar and Universal Champion Roman Reigns. Lesnar versus Reigns is set to headline the Crown Jewel event in Saudi Arabia on Thursday, October 21st. <clears throat> but the Wrestling Observer Newsletter reports that this is not a one-and-done program between the two top stars. Lesnar versus Reigns has been rumored for WrestleMania 38, again in 2022, along with The Rock versus Reigns. So it's possible that the Crown Jewel match builds to the Lesnar versus Reigns rematch next April. It seems likely that Reigns will keep the Universal title at Crown Jewel, but WWE could go with a Lesnar title win or some sort of disputed decision to build to the rematch at WrestleMania 38 in Dallas. They could also keep the feud alive with the Paul Heyman angle as the storyline is written to tease that Heyman could be working as a double agent. 
so that you don't know who he will end up siding with when the time comes. There was no word on if Lesnar will be back on WWE TV before Crown Jewel, but it was announced during the WWE draft that he is now a free agent. Stay tuned for more. So, wow. All right. Um, That is, uh, if you are not interested in seeing this match again, this is bad news. I, I for one, am. Now, I know, and I've been uh, admittedly very... Um, I, I was a little bit down on this when I originally heard about it, only because I was like, how many times have we seen Brock Lesnar Roman Reigns? How many times? We've seen it multiple times at WrestleMania. We've seen it at Crown in Saudi Arabia before, I believe at the Greatest Royal Rumble. They had a steel cage match or something. Um, we've seen these two go at it many times in big, big, big spots. So I'm thinking, do we really need to see this again? Is this all they've got? I'm sure Brock Lesnar is like, hey, you know, I leave for a couple of years. I come back and I'm still working with the same guy. You know, but here's the thing. This is not the same Roman Reigns. This guy has been transformed. He is the guy we all hoped he would be. He's the, the, the heel that I don't even think the most optimistic people that thought Roman as a heel would be a good, uh, a good idea could have imagined this being now. So this is a totally different dynamic. Then you throw Paul Heyman in there. And people are wondering, where is he going to land? Oh, what was he secretly yeah, working with Lesnar on the down low, trying to really undermine Roman Reigns the entire time? That's a cool little storyline. Eventually, it'll play out. We'll get our answer. But honestly, Paul Heyman shouldn't be the focal point here. Why? Because Paul Heyman can't have a match. Paul Heyman is not your payoff. I love Paul Heyman. Best on the mic of this generation. No doubt, but you can't have a match with Paul, so he's not, he shouldn't, he should be the side story where Lesnar reigns and what they have to say to each other should be the primary focus. So if this happens, if indeed it is going to be <clears throat> some kind of fudged finish of sorts, controversial ending to Crown Jewel, and I think it will be, I, I would have predicted that anyway. Um, not, I'm not tuning my own horn or, or Monday morning quarterbacking that oh, I would have done that. No, I, I really was thinking about it. Because you have a returning Brock who's hot as hell. You have uh, Roman who's been hot as hell for 16 months now, 15 months. And something's got to give, but you don't want either to lose clean. So there's got to be something weird that that happens here. So um, this is easily and very believably could lead to a WrestleMania 38 uh, rematch. And yes, the, the thing is, though, when you look at how many months are in between October and, and April... What is it like <laughs> six months a nearly six months that it would be before we see this again. So how they would string it for six months. I don't know. Maybe Brock just disappears. Roman br- brutalizes him. You don't hear for Lesnar from Lesnar until rumble. He comes back. Roof blows off. They go into their program. That's possible. And it's, I think the most likely scenario is reigns versus Lesnar at WrestleMania. However, as this article even said, of course, we've got the rock looming out there. The shadow of the great one. Does it make an appearance in November, as many people have suspected? Or does November come and go, December come and go, and we don't maybe hear from the rock until January or February or March? You could, you could, do, you could have a, a six-week build for this. I wouldn't advise it. I would promote the hell out of this and not just do this as a perceived last-minute addition, but... You could. Um, And so if that's the match, if I have two matches on my plate and and I'm told by Vince and creative to say, hey, you got to pick one. I'm going with the Rock and Reigns because we're already going to see we're already going to see Brock and uh, Roman at Crown Jewel. And you could clean up the fudged finish between now and April so it doesn't bleed into WrestleMania. You got six months. We're only halfway through the WrestleMania season already. So you could have you have time to clean things up. You don't have to string it out. But if they don't have a confirmation from The Rock, maybe they leave it open, right? They leave it themselves room for this to go either way if The Rock can't commit with movie um, movie filming or whatever, or XFL. I mean, he's certainly got a full plate. So if you have Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns and The Rock and Roman Reigns on my plate again, I've seen Brock and Roman a number of times, a number of times at Mania, a number of times on big stages. We've never seen The Rock and Roman. And there's an actual blood tie, pun intended, to Rock and Roman. 
there's an actual connection there and a storyline that is right there to the, for the taking of the head of the table and the bloodline and all about family. It's, it's right there. It's right there. And you, of course, the rock is the biggest star, even out of all these three, I would, I would say that the rock is a bigger star than Brock Lesnar is. So that's saying something. So if my head, if I had my choice, maybe you guys agree, disagree. I would choose the rock Roman. If it's a actual realistic option, versus Brock and Roman, but I wouldn't complain about Brock and Roman. Look, I know we've seen it, and that's the only complaint we can say is we've seen this, we've seen this, we've seen this, but they work very well together. They have really good chemistry. It's not going to be a Goldberg special spear, spear, finish, finish match. This is going to be a bust-ass match, as if as will be their thirty WrestleMania 38 match if they get there. So we've seen them work together. We know what we're going to get, and that's a great match. So... There is that if you are interested in uh, digging in and you can look, look at this article for yourself or you can, of course, go to uh, really any big website and check out the news on this. This is it's kind of floating everywhere. But um, let me know what you guys think about this. I, you know, looking at this, this is, I think, the biggest news right now. Um, I know that there's other things that I could have discussed. And my purpose for these is to make sure that I don't overdo it. It's quick. It's brief. It's a news brief, right? I don't want a long form audio with the name of a show with the word brief in it. So that is, uh, that's where things stand guys with the wrestling right now. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did and you want more, we're going to continue to deliver it for you. I will be back in a long form audio format for Sunday where the, the uh, casual wrestling fan will be joining me for your enjoyment probably a multi-hour a multi-hour uh, format and you, i know you guys have been asking about it he will be re- returning to the podcast to join me on the week in review in just a couple nights so thanks everybody for listening as always give us a five-star rating and review or think about supporting us on patreon and or apple podcasts where you can go ad free thanks everybody i'll talk to you next time